guys and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Omega Ruby Egglock. My name is Beck and I'm excited to welcome you back to Fortree City. So, in the previous episode we managed to grab the Feather Badge from Woodnona. So now what we need to do is we need to head south again and make our way to Mount Pyre, I think, where Team Magma are up to no good, as per usual. Um, what I'm going to do really quickly is I'm just going to pop some Super Repels on because we already have our encounter from this route and we really don't need to be spending a lot of time trying to train up Pokemon here uh, or like bumping into wild encounters random encounters not necessarily necessary um, we are just going to crack on try and get down to the bottom of the route and yes do all of the things we may well not fight everybody um, depending on how much leveling we need to do I, I would imagine we've maybe slightly under leveled some of our Pokemon because um, <coughs> invasion and um, monkey are so Sort of a bit higher level than the other guys. Um, okay, so we have a swallow, so we're just gonna we'll go out into invasion because we know we can take hopefully take a hit and then thunder fang stuff and things. Cause you know invasion is now a beautiful Luxray. She's beautiful. Um, oh yes, a little quick like a little recap on um, the team. I haven't played this game for a little while. The last time I um the last time I recorded I kind of tried to do a few recordings all at once and then kind of I uploaded them, scheduled them, and then not haven't touched my DS since, so I was trying to like snatch time whenever I've got it, but it's still just when you spend eleven hours at work and then you know or eleven hours of the day what out at work you come home and you need to go to bed early because you've got to get up early. It's just it eats into your time that you've got to do other things. So, yeah. We've got... Um... Oh, I should have gone back into Raven there, really. Raven would have been able to do some stuff. But we'll just... We may as well just keep going with Tesla. Um, invasion, sorry. Um... At least I know it can take on Zatu quite easily. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, on the, the team is pretty much the same. Monkey the Meditite, Raven the Murkrow, Spooky the Trevenant, Brakeson, um, Skipper the Brakeson, Invasion the Luxray, and Anri the Vaporeon. Um, do we need to heal at all? Possibly, I'm not sure. I'm just going to grab a super potion. I also went to the shops and um, did buy some more potions and stuff, so hopefully we'll be good. Um, yeah, hopefully things will be great. Um, we're gonna, yeah, as I said before, we may not fight everybody who is lurking about because we do kind of want to just push on with the story a little bit. Um, me, my Pokemon, and my Parasol. If any one of them is missing, the picture of beauty will be ruined. Nice and modest there, lady. I mean, I suppose you're relatively good looking, I guess, Angelica. You've got a very nice name. I like your name. Um, it reminds me of Firestar. She was, was she called Angelica? I'm sure she was called Angelica. Oh, you have a cast form. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go out into Invasion again because you've got the water head on, so. Although there's a potential for it to know, like, is it hail and sunny day, I guess? So it could change the weather, but Invasion, I think, can still hurt this cast form quite significantly, so. Yes, it sends the ice form. Well, that's okay because we do have Fire Fang, so. That will be an effective, that will be a super effective hit, so we'll, we'll go for that. Um, slightly better than if it changed itself into um, the fire type, which I guess it still could. No, it didn't. There we go. Uh, the only problem with that is that, oh, we got a crit, is that hail will damage us per turn. But have you only got the cast form? She may only have the cast form. She only had the cast form, so that's fine. You've completely ruined my beauty. I am so sorry. <laughs> I did not mean to. Um, all of these guys need uh, leveling up, so I guess we'll just we'll keep it as it is for now, and then we'll see what we'll see who we come across. Fight you, maybe. What do you have? I'm not sure. Du -du 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 Jennifer. And Jennifer has a Milotic. Okay, so I guess we go into Invasion. 
I mean, a little bit careful. Our water moves boosted in the rain. Something will be okay. We'll heal up if we get if we get if we get a bit if we get a bit too damaged. If it's looking a bit dodgy, we'll heal. Okay, Twister. Didn't do too much. Let's hope we can connect with a Thunderfang. Please do not hit yourself. Oh my gosh. Wow. L legitimately afraid. That water pulse does too much. Okay, well, we are going to heal. Oh no, tell you what we're going to do. So we can... We'll use a full restore because that'll get rid of confusion and heal us up. So, good grief, man. Poor invasion. Oh, water pulse did a heck of a lot of damage. Oh, and you're going to go for recover. Um, but I guess that's okay because it's not going to go... No, it's not going to go all the way. So, another th hopefully we can hit another thunder fang. Come on. Don't get the confusion. And we need a crit. <sighs> Dang it. I'm not risking this though. Definitely not. It's faster than us. Another water gun would... Water pulse would more than likely take us out. So we are just going to heal. Hopefully, hoping it, it's going to go for a twister again, to be honest. So if it goes for a twister again, then we should be okay. But Or recover. There we go. We can play this game. We can play this game. We can play this game. Oh, it must be a... Is it a speed tie? Okay, well, that was not expected, but fine. <laughs> it was not expected, but that was fine. We played the game there. We did it. Milotic is not a mon to be messed with. It's a very, very good mon indeed. Invasion gets a level as well. So does Raven, which is cool. And Jennifer is taken out. You're obviously thinking. I was thinking. I was thinking about not wanting Invasion to die. Um, okay, right. So, Raven has been leveled up. So, let's swap. Uh, put Spooky Tree up front. Uh, we've got trainers around here. And we've got Kecleon, I think. Oh, we used to have Kecleon. I don't know if we still do. Uh, you're a bug catcher, so I don't think we want Spooky, actually. We're going to go Skipper, just in case. I mean, we don't want Spooky to be being hit by bug-type moves, although that, although is that still true for... That's kind of true for, for Brakeson as well, for Skipper, because Psychic, Bug, Psychic Bug thing, I don't know, Masquerade might also know a Water-type move. Great. Hmm... <laughs> You're intimidating me. Fine. Um. Mm. Not sure what you will have. Let's just go back into invasion. Because it is, is it bug flying type? It's possibly bug flying type. You know, it used to be bug water when it was a surskit. If we can hit it with the thunderfang, then. Awesome. Oh, ho, ho. you can't paralyze me. I am an electric type Pokemon. I totally predicted that. I totally didn't. But you know what I'm saying. Stun, the stun spore is real. Great. That's great. Invasion just will put in so much work all day long. If you put, if you have a Let's Play, always, you always use a Shinx. You can't go far wrong. Seriously. I know people are all like... Ew, ew, ew. I know it's not fast enough to be used... By everybody competitively. Blah, 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 blah. Mega Luxray needs to happen. But come on. Me Luxray is an awesome mon. Yeah, it has its disadvantages of being a bit slow and stuff. But still. It's still awesome. Still awesome. I want to say... I want to say... Right, this is what I want to say. I know everybody disagrees with me about this. But... Um, I am relatively convinced that next the next gen will have more remakes. Because why would you not want Sinnoh remakes, people? Why would you not want that to happen? Well, I don't know why anyone would not want that to happen. But because because Sinnoh remake re remakes would be just the absolute bee's knees. What's up here? Don't know. 
Uh, what are you going to give me? Oh, the Pokebot place? Oh, no, just a figgy berry. Okay, fine. We got the Pokebot place before, didn't we, I think? Um... Oh, it's just secret bases. Not not right now, thank you. Um, yeah, so why would you not want Sinnoh Remakes? Anyway, Sinnoh Remakes have to happen. And in Gen 7, we're going to get Mega Luxray. For sure. Without a shadow of a doubt. Because that's what has to happen. Just has to. Mega Luxray would be awesome. Make it part Dark type because it looks like it should be. And it gets Crunch and Night Slash and Bite. So... Yeah, I think it, I think making it dark type would be. When did I learn Will O Wisp? Dude, I'm wisping. I don't remember learning Will O Wisp. We need to learn Hex now. I think. Swagger. Ah, oh, you tried to swagger me, but you failed. Um. Okay, so you're Willowed. Oh, which is gonna be really annoying now. Can you use Leech? Oh no, because it's Grass type. And you can't swagger me because I am the best. Simply the best. Cut, go for the cut. That should be super effective. Leaf blade. We're going to eat this up with the burn and the grass. Woo! This is how long ago I put, it was that I played this game. I just could, could not even remember that we'd learnt Willow. That's alright, I quite like Willow. Willow's going to be cool. Yay! And it was a crit, as if we needed it. Dude, awesome. I need to remember we've got Willow, because if we can bring this in against a physical attacker, then... Happy days. Right, Metric. Mm, you might have Flamethrower. I don't have any ground-type Pokemon, do I, really? Uh, I don't have any ground moves. That's That, that could be an issue. Spooky still could be the best person to get involved here, so ho we're, I'm hoping it doesn't know Flamethrower. If it does, we we could be in a spot of bother. But let's go for the seed. Oh, just Luther. We can live with that. That's making him be able to hit us, right? Well, that's okay. That's okay. Maybe. Oh, we might know Bite, actually, as well. Um... Could just go into invasion. Its other stab, its other moves will at least hurt Manetric, like Fire Fang, Ice Fang. I just don't feel confident putting anybody else in. Let's go for it. We've got the seed, the leech seed, which is going to help. Maybe I should have willowed, but can't guarantee, can you? You can't guarantee, man. Discharge. Nah. Nah. We're not having any of that. That's not going to. That's not happening. And that leech seed is really going to be helpful. So let's go for the fire fang. You can odor sleuth me all you like, mate. <clears throat> oh, we get the burn. This guy's going down. Um, yeah, it's it's pretty much all over. Go for the fire fang again. Yeah, it's not going to do anything to us. We're going to numb that all day long. Fire fang's going to take Manetric out. Nice. Nice and casual-like. Right, brilliant. Is that it? Or do we have more people to... No, that's it. Pokemon Range Carlos only had two Pokemon. Yes! With Pokemon as strong as ours, we're in, in no need for rescuing. That is so true. That is so true. How are we looking right now? I think we're looking pretty fine and dandy, actually. So let's rock on. Oh, I thought she'd missed us, but she didn't. Dang it. I thought, she'd, I thought we'd sneaked by, but alas, earwax. Oh, it's Jenna. Nice. Uh, with, a, with a Ludicolo. Um, what should we do with this Ludicolo? Let's go for a Willow. Oh, you avoid. The Bubble Beam, we're going to nom that all day. Oh, it was a crit as well. Let's go for the Willow again. Let's 
fine. Reducing the, the electricity's power. What we need against this guy is, is um, Raven. I'm just slightly concerned that Raven will take too much damage if we bring it in. Um, because we don't want that. We really don't want that. Oh, ouch. <laughs> That's alright. The, the combination of the burn and the cut should mean that we can take this out next turn, I hope. No, maybe not. Maybe two more turns. A spooky tree. Um, yeah, we're good. Let's just let's just finish this off. Finish him. Yay. Um, I'd imagine that this girl has got more Pokemon. A Grumpig. So that's psychic. Just psychic. Possibly just psychic. We'll bring in Raven and see what happens. I'm really concerned that she will die at some point. <laughs> I know I keep saying it, but you can't go through a whole Nuzlocke not losing somebody. And I know that Raven is quite susceptible. Um, I feel like a magic coat. Oh no, what does that do? Oh gosh. What the heck does magic coat do? Does it, is it like just bounce back statuses like willows? Predicting the willow. I think that's what it is. Uh, magic coat. It's like magic bounce, is it? I think maybe, possibly. Um, did we level up there as well? No, Spooky's close to levelling up. What we're going to do is we're going to grab the super potion. Just uh, top up Spooky. Spooky is super close to evolving as well now. Not evolving, uh, levelling up, which is good. And surely we must be close now. You are a hex maniac. What does that mean you have ghost type Pokemon? I don't want to put Spooky in the line of fire of ghost types. She's not actually fighting me. Hi! There are powers beyond our understanding in the world. Yeah, yeah, I'll give you that. There are things that we don't understand, but I don't think it's ghosts. Um, okay, so there's a dusk, dusk skull. So we're going to go for um, assurance. And hope for the best. Oh, why? Why do you have to be that guy? Huh? Raven? Oh, no. Not happy. And the willow. Oh, GG, Duskull. GG. Um, I'm going to try one more. Oh, yes, we connect. Whoop. That's good news. What's next? Maybe just a skull. Maybe just a skull. No, something else. Something else. Something else. Sableye. You. Oh my gosh. We need dazzling gleam. What will Sableye even have? It is dark type, right? Dark ghost though. So fighting type moves, I think, still don't hit it. Um, we need a fairy type move man I wish we had a fairy on the team right now a fairy type move would be so super useful right but we don't so we're going to go Aurora B maybe I should have gone Water Pulse just try and get a confusion maybe oh well it did half what's that going to do we're going to eat that up. Okay. Um, let's go for the water pulse this time because that's going to be stab. So. Yeah. I love Sableye. Sableye is one of my favourite Pokemon. Seriously. Um, I really like electric type Pokemon, but most of my favourites are also are actually dark type. Um, I like Scrafty as well. Scrafty's cool. Hydreigon is awesome. 
Um, right, we better do some healing though. Oh, should I should have used the max, max, well, although maybe not the max, maybe not the max. Where's the full, the full heal? No, not on Skipper, on Raven. Okay, we also need to just switch those guys around a minute. So we are coming up on Mount Pyre. I'm not sure we'll be able to actually reach it by the time this episode ends, because what have we got? Maybe about five more minutes. Possibly about five more minutes. We're gonna have to. F oh no, we didn't have to fight her. Oh, here we go. Team, team magma. <laughs> Not team magma. Team magma. Um. Oh, and there's the there's the nurse joy. Okay, so we probably can, and we can catch Pokemon here as well. I guess we can try. Um, I might just try fishing because it might be easy just to just to throw a Pokeball at a level five Magikarp. Or tentacle or whatever it is that we catch. Um, and then that can go into the PC and be swapped out later. Yeah. Hi, Magikarp. It's the Mighty Carp. Um, yeah, just level 10. So hopefully crossing the fingers and throwing an Ultra Ball. We might not need to like attack this thing. Because that would be super awesome. Excellent. Excellent. So we have something to swap out for another egg later on when we get to the next town. Is it Lily Cove? And Spooky levels up, which is also brilliant. Brilliant news. Um, what we'll do is we'll get to the entrance of Mount Pyre and then we'll probably finish. Um, do we need to put a super repel? Super repel? Possibly. Yeah, we don't need lots and lots of random encounters right now. Awesome, awesome. Right, there we go. Okay, so guys, we have made it to Mount Pyre. In the next episode, we're going to take out Team Magma. I want to say thank you very much for watching, especially if you made it to the end of the video. You guys are amazing. If you enjoyed the episode, feel free to bop the like button for me. Drop me a comment below. Say hi. It, uh, all comments mean so much to me. Keep me going. Um, Try to keep me motivated when it's really hard for me to find time to do it. So, yeah, I just want to say thanks. Um, and hopefully I'll see you for the next episode of The Egglock really soon. Take care, guys.